So I'm finally gonna swap my car and this is gonna be a fun little episode. Uh, first we gotta make a bunch of space cause we gotta take out the engine. Series. And then we have to take out the trans cause my trans, if you didn't know, I guess you say broken. So I wanna see what's inside the trans cause when I scanned the car, it said I had slipping gears. So we're gonna pull out anything that's on the top to make room. Cause I also bought some parts for the car that we need to change out since everything's gonna be out. And I wanna clean the engine bay. So so let me show you the engine right now. We're gonna get rid of everything that's on the top. Like we just took out the intake. We're gonna take out a bunch of wires and then just basically get everything out the way. That way we have enough space. Pull out the engine and the trans, which is right there. And then I have my swap on the backyard. And I also got a ticket for $800. So I'm not excited about that. I already paid for that though, so I'm chilling on that. But it still cost me because I could have used money for this car. We're gonna get to it. And then I also wanna clean like all this gunk you see everywhere like this. And just make it look better, make it look nicer. That way when we put the new trans and then the motor back, everything's nice and clean. My engine bay isn't dirty like this, like that like this too because i hate that and i want everything to look perfect so we're gonna get to it and i'll give you an update in like 30 minutes or something right now i'm draining the coolant so we can empty out the radiator i took out the cap so it drains faster all right here's the coolant that i just drained and i'm just gonna put in a bucket because i'm not gonna reuse it this pan already has like uh transmission fluid and oil so i'm just gonna leave it in here for now because i need to drain the transmission also and then I have a milk carton over there somewhere. So I'm gonna just drain the transmission now. This could go to the side because we don't need it. And I gotta remove the radiator with the fans. That way we have even more space in the middle of the engine. So when we need to remove the engine, all this can come off. Well, where was my son? There we go. Put it on the trunk. Yes, wow, wow. That's okay. Put it in the trunk. Okay, I'm gonna empty it. Let's stay in my carpet. Ooh, I can finally wash this. Look how dirty it Watch, Look, you see that? Didn't you wash this last time? Mm -hmm. This one's dirty too. Did you see it? Mm hmm. Oh, no, I didn't. On the inside? Yes. No. Well, we'll just say it's dirty. Okay. It's dirty. You're even recording. I am. Bung hole. Now we're gonna remove the wire harness for the radiator. I got this one over here. That looks like beer. Damn, I'm gonna need to get some new zip ties because look, this one is kind of cracked. Look. I don't know if you can see it. And you probably can't. We need a flashlight. Yeah. Tell me when it's not coming out or when it's done coming out. I should get a Mishimoto radiator. Can you buy me one? Well, what had happened was, well, what had happened was Joseph was gonna buy me a radiator from throttle.com, not a sponsor. Oh, huh, Joseph. No. Is it done? No. Radiator? Radiators are probably expensive, all like 500, 300. Especially for like a brand like that. You don't need that one. That one is doing the foundation. I know, but I'm just saying. What if I want to upgrade? You see my upgrade better than that. This is OEM, bro. You want to piss off everyone and make everyone jealous. I'll just off. What are you doing? Nothing. Why are you touching me like that, weirdo? Bro, okay, said that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I quit. Can you? Ooh, that hose. This hose is leaking. I know, like, yeah, there you go. Are you still recording? Mm hmm. I like how you're recording and helping me. That just means you're a true brother. I so baby. Put it in the car. Oh, the hose is facing up. 
Can you pass me some paper towels? I like to put them in the holes. As you see, we removed the radiator. Radiator. So we have more space. Now we just gotta remove this wire harness that's connected to trans. Um, Look for it, babe. I got it. There you go. Pop. Damn, that's hella dirty. And then looks like there's another one right here that we gotta remove. Damn, that's grimy. Look at that. Caked on. Ta-da. You heard that, right? Yeah. Dude, that was stuck. Okay, that's unplugged. Where's the clip removal tool? You don't have to remove the clip. You just have to remove the plug out. But I need space. I don't have space because this is in the way. Well, remove the plastic. I'm trying to remove the clip. I'm removing the heat shield, taking all the stuff that we don't need to make space. You should keep that off. Uh, no, this is rare. It looks like it's been painted too. Look. What do you think? Should I paint it black? That way, when I paint the valve cover red, it ends out more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I like the naked look. Mm. Where you can see the headers. I want to get all the headers. I feel like I should get some eBay headers or something. What? 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 Imagine getting good headers and then. Well, there's two people the talking to me at once. Sorry, talk to dad. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. For the tire? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Where is it? You tested it already? Yo, yeah. Don't record it from that angle. That's a boring angle to watch. Boy, you're fat. Can I get a ratchet? Um, Hold on, ain't that a racket? I don't know if you can. You might get your hands bloody. Hold on, you ratchet? Can you be? Where's the other ratchet? I don't know, I only have one. Hey, take I take one. One, 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 one. What does Om Jin Yara do? I think this. the beer is kicking in. He does this. He does this in. Him. He puts it in the bag, not like that. In the bag? Yeah, he puts it in the bag. Axle, number three. Yeah. Put the axle nut. Axle. I didn't say axle, I say axle. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, did you say a bad word? No. Did you see, I'm a fat leak. I'm a Catholic too. I might need to step on the bike. Whatever you do, don't race. Why not? You're not supposed step to step on the brake. God damn it! Easy peasy. You took it out? Okay, son. You did it? All four? Damn. We should call you muscle man from regular show. He's green. God damn. Oh, I think I saw a name. Ready? Oh, these are the weird round ones and then they stick out. All right, let's see where these are from. Oh, 12 millimeter. That's not 12. This is 12. I wonder where this guy got him from. 
But at least I know now. Look. <laughs> what? No, like the lug nut is size 12. Wait, record this because I might want to get some of the same size. Look, watch, come. Read this one. It says 12 mm and then it says R15. Okay, maybe. What is. Yeah. Oh, this is R1.5. What does that mean? I'm actually excited for this because I want to see what type of, of the offset for the new wheels I want to get. Oh, look. Is it that? Mm -hmm. Where do I see the offset? It says HM148, 15 by HJJ, ET25, and there's a number 1205, made in Taiwan, so fake wheels. And then it says VIA, and then that weird tire symbol, and then it says 620 kilograms. Shouldn't the offset be... Wait, I feel like the offset is right there. Right? Can you, like, take a picture of this on your phone and then like, send it to me? Can go get it. Mm, I'm holding the tire. It's Joseph. No, this hand thinks I have six hands. Well, I mean, you already took the pic. What are you recording? You told me to record. No, but screw back. I want to be in the video oh too. Oh my god, bro. It's not just about the wheel. You want to do this? This is very cool. I'm selling these wheels for two fifty a piece, so hit me up. What? Yeah. With the rings? Yeah. He's crazy. What do you mean? That's the price. Each. Two fifty oh. each. Sorry. You wanna see how heavy this is? Why not? Damn, mm -hmm. look, it's even crazier back here. This is the other one. The other one. Now you can wash it. 